Hiya. I'm me. I'm just a mic. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Um, I'm recording this on the same day that I recorded the last one because I was fucking around with a lot of stuff and yeah. So January seventeenth. Wellbo seven. Twelve. We're gonna be going for a little bit on that one. Oops. One, two, four. Wellbo seven. Five forty-six a.m. Uh, what we currently have on the screen is one of the other dates and times. I really wanted to just jump straight into this because I have a lot to show you guys. Because I've been working and and I was in contact with my uncle, who again I'm borrowing the game from and he has beat before, as well as my sister, to try and figure out a lot of these puzzles. Alright, that's a whole mess of stars that I need to draw right now. Through conversing with them, I have found how to gain access to the machine world. And no, it's not through this. This takes us to Stone Ship. That looks like a weird hedgehog. My drawing of it is not particularly great. The last one we have is far, far in the future. 9791. 97... 91. So this is going to be for a little while. November 23rd. 91? November 23rd. At 6.57 p.m. Six fifty-seven. I don't mean to sort of shove you guys out of the loop if that's what it feels like. I'm just really almost obsessed with this game, if I'm honest. This has been quite the adventure, and well worth it, in my opinion. It's, it's become one of my favorite series, is, certainly. Dot, dot, circle there, dot over there. So now... Oh, and I also have a white page. Uh, I'll get to that right now, actually. Because right down here, when I pull this lever, it opens. And that is because I believe all other th all of the other switches are currently on. We'll get to how I came to that knowledge in a little bit. But first things first... Uh, what do we have here? That doesn't look quite right. Do any of these? How about one of these two? Ooh. This one could be snake. Gonna put snake 
with a question mark. What else? What else? I don't see the Iron Cross. Maybe I don't speedle. Maybe. Uh. Don't really see the arrow there. Don't see the flamingo. Maple leaf. So we just have to figure out what this last one is. It's a whole mess of things, it looks like. Looking for where the bigger stars can sort of align. It could be the scarab. The snake does seem to fit pretty decently with the middle one. Yeah, it has to be the scarab. Okay. So, what do we have here? Bird, iron cross, leaf. Uh, arrow, no. Over here, anchor. Scarab. Snake. There we have it. Ship rose out of the water. Oh! And that made this ship rise out of the water. Uh, I do want to take a look at this real quick. Although I do suspect that too much examination here will lead to me falling into the stone ship age, which I haven't read the book for yet, so I don't... Yep. There's a book there. Really rainy. Okay. I'll hold off on that for the time being. Because that'll be easy enough to get to. Um, I do want to show you guys the solution to the mechanical as well. Since that's sort of on the way. It, it's a little bit of a sidetrack to where I actually got the information to get this white page. Um, so you interact with this device, let's, uh, let's move the top two first, twice, whoops, didn't pull it all the way, and then down here, and that makes that open up. which I have no question about, means that the gear up on the stairs over there has also opened up in a similar fashion. But like I said, this was on the way. And that's a promising sign. Excuse me. Did I not turn it down enough? There we go. We've got a little bit of a wait ahead of us. That's right, we're going back into Channel Wood. I was somewhat right in my feeling that I had missed something. And I found it off screen because I just kind of didn't stop playing. But I did stop recording. Did I start recording? I started recording. Okay, we're good. We're good. One more, and we'll be right there. But yeah, so... My uncle gave me a hint on that one. How would you move just one number? And my sister... Uh, because she hadn't seen it before, or, or hadn't successfully managed to get into the mechanical world, suggested maybe a half pull or, or a pull and hold. And between those two pieces of information, I was able to put together that you pull and hold to make one number move. 
Although I didn't know that it was just going to be the middle number. I thought it was going to be the end number. I also thought initially that it was a half pull, but pull and hold worked. Um, so as I figured that out, I was like, well... And there's no indication that that could be the case, strangely enough, in the game. Because like all other switches, it forces you to let go after you hold it, so why even hold the button? It just doesn't make sense to me. Also, this white page doesn't go into a missed book. I tried with this one over here, and the one in, Selen in the Selenitech, because I wanted to explore all of the nooks and crannies of the maze. And I found some interesting details there, but it seems unrelated to the actual puzzle itself. Uh, I need this one going that way. Uh, it's going to be a little dizzying real soon, so... If you get, like, motion sick, maybe move the phone away from your face. Or just don't look. I'll tell you when I'm at the top. Yeesh. I'm not even enjoying this. Ugh. Alright. We're at the top. That's... Yes. We need to go into the elevator now. Get in. Close the door. Lever. Guess I could hold that one. Maybe it was just me assuming that I couldn't hold it down. So what I found was right down here. Vault Axis Island of Mist. Maybe it's Hatch or Hutch, but uh, something in very plain view on something Mist and Axis can be something if the simple something first locate switches on the island uh, of these switches to the something go to the dock and something the marker switch off position so I turned all of them off and turned that one off and it opened and there was a paper of course I don't like constantly holding a piece of paper and we've already given the man a blue page so I've been assured this won't affect the ending. So long as I don't give one of them all of their pages. Giving them any number of their pages is fine, so long as it isn't the last of their pages. And given the fact that I know that there is a red one in the Selenitic, I'll be okay. At least through this, I'll actually be able to solve puzzles more efficiently, because I'll be able to see what my hand can interact with better. It's about to get dizzy again. Fair warning. I'll tell you when I'm down. But yeah, so um, in the Selenitic, in the maze, I found a octagon where you can hear the sounds that the crystals made from the surface. Except... I can't see any crystals down there, and I can't tell if it's tied to any sort of puzzle. Uh, my uncle who's finished the game didn't know it exists, so I'm going to take it as a nope. Uh, there was also a crashed, um, I call them roller coaster submarines. My uncle referred to them as a maze navigator. Certainly it is a maze navigator, but I like calling it a roller coaster submarine more. Uh, but yeah. So now that I have the red page, we're going to hear the guy ramble on to us about it. We're going to check out the entrance to the machine world, and we're probably going to do the stone ship age. Just because I had my heart set on that one. So we'll read about it. And then we'll pop in there. I need to find where the white page goes. Thankfully, I know where it is and how to get it, and it's really easy. But yeah.
Also, where the blue guy up in this world, in his weird torture cabin where he probably killed all of the inhabitant tree dwellers, um, where you first see his hologram just sort of floating there, there's a device under it that acts sort of like a bear trap. Don't know what that's about. It's upsetting, certainly. Comes with the heavy implication that he was torturing these poor creatures to death. Especially after they revered him so well. Not that Red's much better. He took, well... I don't know what you deem much better. Retire. Yes. You're welcome. But he took advantage of their hospitality to get a whole bunch of booze in a really nice house. Uh, My name is Sierra. Oh, Sierra. I beg you to find the remaining You must be. So he's Sierra. This one. Let's hear him say his name. He returned. Aknar. Surus and Aknar. Okay. Now I know how to pronounce them. Let's read a new story. Emmett was the first to go <laughs> to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. It was where This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks, as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live. Also, the, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly on their world, and the water was always... dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in a wire, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will soon a part of the group, and all Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least this is the story I was told when I arrived today on the on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree, one of the smaller rock islands, on, on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning, and I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful. Yet they still up. Yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand. Not that I expected them to. I'm gonna draw that photo because my sister said she looks in this book to draw the boat, so I guess I'm drawing the boat. Lump there. 
this mast tilt string there up 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 down and this goes down there and the water I still not I still do not fully understand what happened today I was experimenting with the art testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by as dictated to me by father I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I hoped, I now have answers for a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, let me draw the submarine too, apparently. That looks important to me. Circle, 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 circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's got weird little pipe legs. Okay. Submersible lamp. It's not a submarine. Whatever. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoyed it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is as much it is much sturdier it is a much sturdier sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also, during the night, I catch glimmers of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people far off island, islands or rocks, on far off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it is additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is, rain why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light towards the horizon, I might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked... Excuse me. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. I have had to alter my plans slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands, that evening that evening we powered up the generator, much to the boy's dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night on, in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to observe a sun, the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to, to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. 
Was Will not pleased? I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art that will have a more profound impact on the world than I could have ever written. I think. Alright. Got a whole map here. So... Circle, long plank, rock, long plank, weird dock-like structure, spiral, um, boat, line, rock, line, circle, wires. Oof. It's a very rough map. Oh. I feel pleased to leave this vision. That will have more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think of this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up, wrap up and open someday in the future, only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. They are all very content and have been serving with me and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials they had discovered. It even seems they found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their tried their very best to keep it so, yet I have noticed that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder, I want, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like in another ten years. Perhaps let's find out. Yep, this one's opened up. I'm just going to take a quick little peek. It's just straight up a book. Okay. Into the stone ship age we go. And we probably won't be able to make it back out this episode, but we can try our best. Ugh. Oh, I'm out of water. Fuck. Okay. So I've spawned on the ship. Ah. And over here is the lighthouse. Oh. The key on a chain here. I would I would very much like to have that, please. I suppose I'll need something to Ah. to do something about the chain what I do not yet know Oh. 
Okay, now I'm terrified like those boys. Well, can't very well go down in there. Wow. A whole lot of places I can't go. I'd appreciate less creepy noises. Okay, yep, yep. I am lost. And it really doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to work with on this one. Two, one, 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 three, one, one, one. That did wonders for me. Apparently that did indeed do wonders for me, never mind. Nothing to interact with here. Well, I am glad I knew about the flashlight. Just a table then, huh? Shiny. Those are propellers. Okay. Turtle. Both of them are pointing this way. Do you have an opinion? Back up this way. Don't they seem odd to you? Some of them seem to point towards the exit. Others don't.
got the water out of there. Perhaps this just is a toggle? Water's returned there. But now let's try here. It does indeed seem to be some sort of pump toggle. Again, very glad I have my flashlight. So what about you? This is unpleasant. This is unpleasant. Have I gone to an alternative path? Oh, it's a lot. Of, oh, nope, we were almost there. Here's the surface. Indeed. Okay, so that connects these two paths, and both of them are drained by the same button. Which means the third one probably drains the... lighthouse, I would imagine. Alright, so this is at the end of this hallway. Ah! Whose rib cage is that? Looks like they were not quite so friendly at this point. Map. More map. World map. Okay, so we've got a world. Ha 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 ha! Marker switch. Uh, I'm gonna write this down. Marker switch long. Uh, the vault is locat, locat, the island of, hmm, achieved very Yes. Instructions are fall each of the marker. That's probably an S, let's be honest. Turn. Every one O on position period. Then or the as a final step 
two. There. There. Two. Th. All right. No, no, I wasn't. There's a third drawer. More zoomed in localish map. Even more local map looks ge uh, looks political, not geographical, necessarily. I mean, it's a map, so it's geographical. Seems that a lot of exploring got done. Classical map making. I like the flower, thank you. Missing something. Could this room just be for that page and that half note? Possible. not be so very surprised to find out that that is indeed the case. And I take it that this is going to be... Yes! The room... The room of the Red Brother. Seems they could not agree on who should keep the instructions to the vault. And of course, this one is very lavish. Seems fitting based on the previous room we saw. And of course, there's a dagger. No, I want to. I want to know what that thing in the back of the drawer is. It looks like a whole lot of drugs. And I can just leave that drawer open, apparently. Time to rifle through your things, too, Red. Mm, no thanks, don't want that one. Bunch of textiles. Fine china. Gold coins. Pearls, yeah, no. This is very on brand for Mr. Red. Serious. There's nothing else here. Okay. Duh. I can sit on the bed. How exciting. Can't sit on the chair, though. I just... I'll just close this drawer for you. Seems Red always wants a, a life of extravagance and comfort. Well, Blue... Tends, mo tends more towards having a brutal life of killing and savagery. Right. So water's up here, yep. Water's up there, yep. The last place to check is... Oof. 
Oh, we have a treasure chest down here, huh? Is that it? Is that really all I can do here? Okay. Don't know where you want me to go, game. Yeah, I haven't really given me a lot to go on. Oh, oh hey, hey. Thank you. Doesn't even seem that I can interact with the chain. So I could go down in there. Was there somewhere here I couldn't go? No. No, so it doesn't seem. That telescope is there to tell us something. Though I certainly couldn't tell you what. would be one thing if you all could agree on a direction. If I could move you somehow. So we've got two pointing this way, four pointing that way, Three pointing that way then, right? Because there's one, two, three pointing that way. One, two, three, four, five, six pointing that way. Let's see.
I gotta be honest, y'all. I'm lost. I recognize that symbol. That's the pirate symbol from the mechanical age, I believe. I suppose if he's working with the raiders of the mechanical age, it would make sense that he's so rich. Missing something somewhere. But I do not know where. I feel like this is the strongest lead I have for a puzzle. But what past a compass rose can I know? Hey, KG. Boy, it lags here a lot more. He has a much more minimalist sort of room. I can respect that more than I can respect the you know, corpses and bones and blood. It's even a sort of cage shape around his door. Is this just for flavor?
With the opulence and the color scheme, it really looks like this is just a continuation of Red's room. But fuck, man, I I don't I don't have a lead. I don't know where to begin. What were they looking for all the way up here?
Time is of the essence. We gotta get up to that telescope and see where the light is. Then we could probably use that coordinate on the thing down in the hallway. Sixty, two seventy, two eighty, two ninety, three hundred, three ten, three twenty, three thirty, three forty, three fifty, three sixty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred, ten, hundred, twenty, hundred, thirty, five, one thirty five. Okay. just how long that battery lasts. Not enough. How many lights do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So there's thirty-two lights. Three hundred and sixty divided by five, since that's how many marks we have. We've got zero there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, seven. There's seventy-two marks on the telescope. I don't see quite how they're analogous. Maybe with the battery charge, something changes inside the boat itself? That could be something worth exploring. Although I do believe I should probably leave that until next time. I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. I'm gonna give it a shot. If it leads to some sort of breakthrough, then I'm gonna call it on the breakthrough. I really do wonder how long this battery lasts. Because it seemed to have lasted a pretty long while. Although it certainly stopped when I fucked it up. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if anything down here is different. Three hundred and sixty can be divided by thirty-two. That gets you a 
11 point something? Zero seven twenty two thirty three forty four fifty five sixty six seventy seven eighty eight ninety nine one ten one twenty one one thirty two Nope. Fucking up somewhere. Well, it's not like I've got somewhere else to be. I'm kind of stuck here, so. Precisely at one thirty five. There are three hundred and sixty, right? Because before zero we have three fifty, that'd be three fifty five, three sixty. I've visited the hallway a lot since turning on the light. Let's see if the room's any fucking different. <laughs> the other one.
seeing any differences. I'm gonna check on the empty drawer in Red's room, because that one bothered me for some reason. That's 90, then this is 45. That'd be 135, wouldn't it? So I've turned on the un undersea lights. What does that do for me? Oh, I'm sorry, this is another longie. Trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I also want to check on the battery to see if I have to keep winding that up. First things first, I'm going to switch the pump. Now the undersea lights are on. I noticed that, um, be, like, since I couldn't do it on a light to light basis and, and count it actually out, I figured it would be more beneficial to, um, look at the actual compass rose itself and notice that the gold marks are at every 90. Uh, the red marks are halfway between all of the 90s, thus making them 45s. Then 90 plus 45 is 135, which is exactly what we'd expect it. So now it's brighter in here. What? What does that do for us? We can see. Hooray. Still don't see what this room has to offer us. There's a table. I'm going to call it here. It's probably going to be short next time, but it is what it is. Thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves, and that tomorrow's another day. I hope to see you then. Bye!